I think we have VPN everywhere. Everybody is connected using VPN. Um, why don't I see any sort of um, remote desktop or terminal services connection at all? I somewhere I've heard about terminal services being pretty cool. Well, the reason that we didn't go with terminal services, we had it set up on our plan first to go, and we would have had to have a separate box in our Canadian structure, in our Canadian, uh, Canadian domain. We would have had a terminal server, and then we would have had to buy terminal services from Microsoft and stuff, or do the, um, what's the, what's the connection, Citrix, we like Citrix connection or something like that, so we would have had all that extra cost that we couldn't justify it when we just set up the DVD. So it was, a, it was a cost issue, plus it would have made an extra box over here that we would have had to set up and configure just to handle that. That's why we kind of doubled up some of our server functions on one box, like GCP, Windows, and VPN, and GCP, VPN over here on the same box, on the same server, to, to reduce overhead, basically, and administration over here. Cool. Um, any more questions? Just go ahead. Go ahead. Ask You know, bad things do happen to good servers. And of course. <laughs> and I see that we do have redundancy of servers. However, <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, however, it seems like some of the servers, well, particularly maybe one on this side and one on the other side, this one over here seems to be doing. RF and DSCP and WINS. Do you have any sort of redundancy plan for just one particular server that has so many roles? I think. Well, it is actually. We actually set up a virtual virtual server within the server, but not an actual extra box to do redundancy there. So if the server is big or not, the whole if the whole thing blew up, no. But if something did go down within the server, it would be the virtual machine would kick up, would kick on and start running from that and, and uh, replicate that to the directory and stuff like that. So it could stay up and run. Right. Uh, if you do have a copy of that email, say it onto a, di a different server, so if you should need it, you can always bring it up. We can always bring it up from back to the server. sure do. That was part of our the idea of maybe losing both uh, the domain controllers at the same time. Part of hardware issues is kind of unlikely unless it was like a line on who would implement things like a line condition. That's where it's simply you see backup for a line condition for a couple of days. So, right, normally operate that with two instead of the four. One last question. Um, so, well, with the IP address scheme that you do use, you use 10 dot and you're like with a class on the mask, that means you maybe have at maximum 254 workstations, correct? Uh, correct. Okay. So what if you are to merge, to say, everybody from Canada to come over to the US side, what would you do in order to accommodate that additional users and computers? What would we have to do by the address and do the original I think with our 10.10 10 scheme that we went with, like Brian says, if we change the subnet mask, then we'll have 254 more times per subnet mask that we have. So we could, we, we could actually gain about, uh, we actually go from 254 to around 1,000. I have one final question I forgot. You mentioned that you had to have the managers of each department responsible for the people in their department. Uh, how exactly did you give them control of those the departments for users and computers? Like when I said, the child of the uh, for the shipping offices. We set up a different policy all together and gave them an administrative right from the managers to change it down. And then here's the rest of the 
accounts that were called? Did you group them by domain or did you use? No. Uh, by department. Just by OU. OU's. 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 And then, and then how did you give those managers control of the OU's? What mechanism did you use? I think we delegated power down. So, you did delegation? I think we went through delegation and delegated power down to our department. So, yeah. You delegation on your, on your OU's? Okay. Did you? 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 Did you